Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. Welcome to another overgrowth tutorial. Today we're going to talk about some of the new animation functionality that has appeared in the engine. Specifically the manipulation of BVH animation files. But first things first, let's smash Robert into the ground. And now I'm going to scope out a flat piece of earth where I can demonstrate the animation technology. We're going to start by using the rabbit guard model. The newer alphas should have a characters tab on the spawner that will let you load the character models directly. However, if you don't see it, you can click the folder icon and just go to the data, objects, and then IGF characters folder and load the models from there. I can double click Robert to select him and then use right click to drag him into position. Next, Control R activates rigging mode. Now I can click the load button and grab Robert a pre-made skeleton. To make custom animations from scratch, I would push Ctrl A to pop open the animation editor. However, today I'm going to click the animation tab, and now the load BVH button. Experts agree that before you load any super intense animations, you should do some stretching to make sure your skeleton is nice and warm. Let's go Robert, stretch it out. Yeah, you can see now that Robert is nice and loose. Alright, I think he's warmed up. Let's see if we can find an intense animation now. Oh, Robert, come on. This is a family show. You can't go around making dust clouds like that. Let's get a new animation here. Oh, yes, Robert. That's quite the classy dance you're doing there. Oh, what a vision of grace and beauty. To enhance the animation preview experience, we can toggle the show skeleton button to be off. I don't get it. Is this going to be a dancing game or a fighting game? Okay, we can load some other animations. This one, for example, is a bit of capoeira. capoeira. More like capo hair. Uh, <laughs> get it, rabbit. Uh, hair. See what have it. And this one is a pretty good sequence of shadow boxing. Oh, Robert, don't tease me like that. We both know the fighting system has not been implemented yet. Hey, look at me in my macho walk. I take really slow, deliberate steps with my hands out at my sides, my wide stance. Even for a rabbit, I am one mean SOB. Actually, that's a good point. Perhaps this animation would look better on a different character. We'll double click on him to select him, reposition him a little bit, and then push Control R to enter rigging mode. There is no pre-made wolf skeleton, so we're gonna have to make one on our own. In rigging mode, by holding control and clicking, I can create joints wherever the mouse is at the time that I click. Once the joints are placed, I can hold alt and click on one joint and then the next to draw a bone between the two. When everything is in place, pushing control T binds the skeleton to the mesh. Now let's go back to our BVH files and grab the macho walk. So even though the wolf and the rabbit have different skeletons with different proportions, they can both use the same raw animation files. I have no idea how David managed to program this, but it's going to be a huge help to our workflow because it allows us to share valuable animations across the species and characters instead of having to reinvent the wheel for each one. It also bodes very well for users who want to put their own custom character meshes into the game. Here's the shadow boxing animation again, but now applied to the wolf. And in case you were wondering, yes, wolves can dance too. One final important thing to know is that once you've loaded a BVH animation file that you really like, you can then save it out as an overgrowth animation using the save button. So here I am rigging Robert one last time. I'll load the boxing animation again. Oh mama. Huh. Huh ha. And now I'll click the save button and call this boxing. 
And as you might have guessed, now that our boxing animation has been saved as a .anm file, it can now be incorporated in the scripting layer. To give you a quick and dirty example, I'm going to open up the idle XML file, which basically governs Robert's behavior when he's supposed to be idle. And where you see idle.anm, I'm going to replace that with our newly saved file boxing.anm. I'll push Control S to save the scripting file. And as soon as I click my way back into the engine, boom, it updates. That robot's looking pretty feisty to me. Oh, I think someday soon he'll probably be ready for a real fight. The BVH file format is pretty widely used, so it's exciting to see that it can now be loaded into the engine. Additionally, if you don't have time to make your own animations, that giant library that you saw me sifting through of pre-made BVH files was created and compiled by the awesome guys at Carnegie Mellon University. You can download their 2,500 animation files at the following URL. Overgrowth updates will be coming fast, so be sure to keep up with the latest development news at the Wolfire blog.